Hello everybody, I've got something a little bit different that I want to share with you today. Um, a good friend of mine, Maggie Sanderson, runs a craft group for carers um, based in Hereford, not very far from where I live in Worcester here in the UK. Now, pre-Covid, Maggie was holding um, monthly craft sessions in the theatre in Hereford. She'd have about 12 to 14 people taking part, lovely, lovely venue. Um, and because of Covid, of course, everything has had to change and all of those craft sessions have come to an abrupt end so Maggie has thought outside the box and her and her um, co-worker Lisa have been putting these lovely um, kits together this is just the January kit um, it's a different theme um, each month she puts a kit together sends it out to the carers and then you know they can create whatever they want to using these beautiful beautiful bits and pieces and Maggie reached out to me this month and said you know I'd be, just be really um, interested to see your take on the kit that we've put together which you know I really really do um, appreciate I've got this gorgeous card now where do you think that is going to be going well of course that will be going in my scrap journal of course because the colours match beautifully so I'm saving that now Maggie also includes or Maggie and Lisa I should say include um, just basic instructions here giving ideas as to how you can use the kits but they very much say you know put your take on things so we've got um, a little kit here let me just um, open this up full of beautiful um, starry scraps and I think the idea with this one here is to make some kind of tassel um, or charm we've got these lovely beads on some yarn um, and the clip that can go at the top so you know everything that you need included in this and the reason I'm sharing this with you today is that I know many of you love a boho style and a lot of you have already got this kind of stuff in your stash as it is so I'm hoping that you know lots of you will follow along with me we've got here lots and lots of um, trims the colors are just these jewel colored trims aren't they just so beautiful absolutely gorgeous um, we've got some um, yarn feels so soft and this gorgeous trim I absolutely love that so we can have um, a play with that then Maggie has also included um, this little kit here if I can work out how to um, get into it so let's have a have a look here Hang on, I've opened it up the wrong way. Let me just um, let me just do do this. Here we are. So we've got um, some lovely bits and pieces that we can put something together with here. So some lovely sari fabric. Absolutely love this. You've seen me use very similar things um, from a company called Love Me Blue here in the UK. I'm going to leave um, details of where Maggie and Lisa got their scraps from. I've forgotten the name. It's um, completely um, slipped my mind, but I will leave it um, on screen. I'll also give you some suggestions, you know, for the for the US if that's where you're based as well. We've got a piece of painted paper here. This could well be one of mine because um, I do send a lot of my painted paper scraps in Maggie's um, direction for her to use um, in her group and her kits. A gorgeous piece of tissue paper here, um, gold foiled um, tissue paper. I love that. Um, a bookmark base. Um, we've got a little dots and boxes. Oh, this is cute. Um, yeah, just a, a game for people to, to do just to while away a, a few minutes. Um, another piece of scrapbook paper. Um, this piece of paper here, I know where this is from because I have got this kit and I've forgotten what it's called. But again, I'll leave the um, what this is on screen. Um, so, OK, and instructions. So let's make a boho bookmark and it gives you instructions. It, it tells you what's included and gives you some ideas as to how you can um, use it. And then we've got... Them a little bag of sequins um, and trims and things as well. So I'm going to have a look through this, put my thinking cap on and see what I might be able to do with this fabulous, fabulous kit. Now I've had a good look at the bits and pieces that are included in this gorgeous kit and I've decided I'm going to work on this piece of card. This is beautiful. It's um, linen textured, buff coloured um, cardstock. I want that to be the back so I'm going to work on this side here um, and I'm going to use some of this um, beautiful pattern paper. Now this is from the Do Crafts Eastern Opulence set. It comes in 6 by 6 This is 6 by 6 inches. It also comes in 12 by 12 as well. I have both sets in my collection um, it's absolutely gorgeous and anybody who's followed me for a long time will have seen me use this before now I don't know whether you can see I've made two marks here because that's where 
I want eventually this paper to go but I do want to glue um, this gorgeous tissue down first so I'm just going to stick that down with a glue stick. The easiest way to do this without getting in a horrible um, mess is to apply the glue directly to the card using the lines as a guide so I'm just going to go right across that line um, there like like that and then just make sure that you've got plenty of glue around the edges so that it doesn't um, peel up if you miss the odd spot you can always add more at a later date but you know it's best to get um, as much as you can um, down now there we go and move that over to the other side and then I'm just going to apply this beautiful beautiful tissue making sure hang on uh, be careful with this make sure you get it um, centralized it's really difficult to do it on camera I want to make sure that i've got it really well covered there we go that will do nicely and then i'm just going to use a bone folder you can use a lollipop stick um, a ruler just to make sure that you get rid of any air bubbles and just burnish that down and then of course i can trim around the um, edges that's glued down and I've trimmed around the edges keep any of your larger scraps as well because you can use those on another project and now I want to glue um, some of this paper down like this now with the do crafts paper it comes with this uh, along the top of the pad and you just tear that off I've got um, a jaggedy edge I'm not worried about that because I'm going to cover it anyway if it bothers you just slice that jaggedy edge off at the top so that it's nice and neat and I'm just going to glue that down there like that and again I'm going to apply the glue to the cardstock again focusing um, on getting it around the edges so that it doesn't um, peel up. I'm really heavy on my glue. These glue sticks are absolutely brilliant. I really like the Pritt stick um, one. Scotch is another um, good brand. I actually like this one better, I have to say. So now I'm just going to glue some of my cardstock um, down and I'm going to cover um, this edge with some trim or something uh, as well making sure that I get that little um, embellishment there in the in the center so making sure I've got some um, you know an equal amount on either either side to disguise the join I've just got a couple of really tiny slither scraps of um, wallpaper this is textured wallpaper if I hold it up I don't know whether you can um, see some of you that are following my use your scraps journal will have seen some of that used in here I'm going to glue the gold one um, down first what have I done with my deli paper let's just um, grab grab a, f a fresh sheet so I'm just going to apply plenty of glue on the back here like this and stick stick this down stand up to do that so that i make sure that i get it um, straight and then i'm just going to trim um, off the um, edges i've also got some um, blue one as well a beautiful royal blue with the same kind of texture and again i'm going to glue that down on top this one has got um, a wavy edge you could use pinking shears if you want um, a more interesting type of edge or you know those craft scissors that um that the kids have if you've got grandkids then the chances are they will have a set that you could maybe borrow and i think that looks really cute and i'm just going to trim off the edges now i just absolutely love the base of my card it looks nice and cohesive and i'm going to see if i can um turn this into some kind of focal image what i'm going to do is just trim around the outside of these beautiful pieces so the flower itself and this um at the bottom now i've cut my flowers out and i also cut this piece here because i think that looks like um a leaf i'll show you what i'm going to do with that in a second i've also got um, a gold leafing pen which i'm going to use mine is the deco color premium prime premio by um Uchida. i love this pen but um you know they're readily available um in most craft stores um some of you i'm sure will already have them let me just try and make sure that i don't make a mess of this and all i'm going to do is just add some gold just around the edges instead of inking my page i'm going to um, add gold just to tie everything together being really careful not to um smudge smudge it 
time to piece everything together now i just want to show you something if i put my embellishment on my card like this everything just looks a little um, bit busy whereas if i bring in some gold cardstock i'm using the same gold that i've used on the trim in the center look at me i'm covered um, in gold ink i've also um, inked around the edges of this by the way if i hold it up like that i don't know whether you can see really really pretty but if i now mount my flower on this it just stands out um, a whole lot better and so that's what i'm going to do i do need to get rid of um, some of the bulk so what i will do is just um, trim trim this away um, like like that there we go and then I can glue that um, under there um, I'll take that off and um, do this separately so I'm just going to glue my flower um, on there like that just using three in one glue any kind of craft glue will be fine um, for this but I do really like the um, beacon three in one especially for working with um, fabric now, I really like the position of that so what I'm going to do is just apply um, a little bit of my glue here like this so that I make sure I get it um, in the right place um, then I'm just going to leave that to sit for a second or two just to make sure that that glue grabs then I can flip it over add more glue to the back and I've just simply glued the gold background down onto my card isn't that just absolutely gorgeous I love that beautiful so bring in the bookmark and let's have a look and see what we can do with this. Now I've got this gorgeous tissue paper that um, the charm and, um, well, the dangle and the clip was in. What I'm going to do is screw that up and I'm really going to go to town screwing um, this up to try and get as many creases in this as I possibly can. So screw it into a ball and then, of course, I can um, open it um, up. And then I'm going to apply some glue over the um, front of the bookmark and glue that down trying to keep as many of those creases as I possibly can in fact I might even screw it up and crease it um, again I want loads and loads and loads of creases now I'm just going to add some glue stick over the base of this tag trying to avoid the um, little brad at the at the top if I can eyelet at the top um, this here so just adding plenty of glue and I'm going to stick my tissue paper down. As I say, just trying to keep as many of those creases as I, as I can. So making sure that I've pulled it out now so that it's um, long enough to cover the whole of the, the tag. Here we go. And stick Stick that down as I say just trying to keep as many of those creases so not pressing down too hard but um, making sure that um, it is firmly glued down. I'm just using my finger here just to um, make sure that I press down around the edges to make sure that that glue is firmly um, stuck because I don't want that um, coming undone and now I'm ready to trim. Now of course we've covered up the eyelet at the top and I'm just going to burnish that down. Of course I've added no glue um, around that area there. Let me just bring back a piece of deli paper here and all I'm going to do is just apply some water using a paintbrush and that will just um, peel gently straight away. We just need to rub it with our finger like this and because we've got no glue there it will just uh, come clean off. Just be really gentle um, about it. Here we go. And now we've got that gorgeous um, turquoise eyelet back. Now if any of your tissue is being a bit stubborn to um, get away from the edges, just rub it um, with a nail file, an old emery board like this, and it will just um, take it away with ease. So you can see mine is nice and um, neat on the back. Now I want to expose some of this gorgeous texture that um, I've got on my crumpled tissue paper so I'm going to be using some of my treasure gold. This is just a gilding wax, any type of gilding wax will do. If you don't have gilding wax use any type of contrasting paint or gesso even. Um, white paint would work really well on this, gold paint um, especially and all I'm going to do is put a tiny um, amount on my finger and just rub most of it away and I'm just going to really gently rub over this 
with my finger and I don't know whether you can see the gold is starting to highlight all those gorgeous crinkles that we've got going on in the tissue paper and it just makes it look a whole lot more um, interesting don't go too heavy handed on this you know you can start off with a, a light application and if you don't like it um, you can always add more but of course you can't take it um, away so I'm just going to play around with this until I'm happy with the look um, that I've got I, of course I can keep dipping into the gold that I've got here on my tissue paper and just applying it until I'm really happy with the color that I've got isn't that just beautiful I'm also going to add a tiny touch um, around the edge of my card as well just like this just touching the edges just to give myself a border of course you know if you don't have um, gold gilding wax and you've got one of these types of pens use that um, instead it makes no difference gold paint if you just dip your pe uh, your finger into gold paint um, you will get um, a very similar look so use whatever use whatever you have let's try and decorate this i've got another piece of the gold paper that i used in this piece here just to try and get these to uh, coordinate and play nicely together i've also got um, the piece of ribbon that was wrapped around the packaging as well so i want to glue that on there like that i'm just going to put that to one side um, what i will do is just apply some glue stick where's it gone to the center of this piece of gold paper like this oh because it's textured it's gone all gloopy but that's fine and you can see that I've taken the threads um, that were loose on this um, fabric away as well so I'm just going to glue that down there like that I'm happy with those creases because those add um, texture so I'm going to leave those um, be I'm just going to add glue now on the side where I think um, I need it just to make sure that, um, that that's firmly attached. Glue stick is strong enough um, for this and isn't going to bleed bleed through either as three in one or Fabri-Tac would. So there we go. I like how that looks. And then what I want to do is wrap this um, around my um, my bookmark. Now I am going to use stronger glue um, on the back of this. Um, just to make sure that um, you know it sticks firmly and isn't going anywhere this is three in one fabric glue all-purpose glue but brilliant for um, fabric and I'm going to make sure that I take that right the way to the very edges as well here we go like this and then I can just uh, wrap wrap that around where did I want that to go about there like like that and then that will stick down um, at the at the back want to make sure that that's nice and flat so that I haven't got um, any any lumps and bumps and then with glue stick I can glue these loose pieces down here um, like that doesn't that look pretty I love how that looks now I've got a feather here that was sent to me in happy mail and I did think about adding that there as the focal image but I've changed my mind what I'm going to do is add some of this to the top of the trims so I'm just going to flip it over use some of my three in one in this fine nozzle bottle and I'm just going to stick some of it down um, just using the thicker areas to apply my glue and I'll smooth this out with my finger as well just to make sure that um, none bleeds bleeds through so just going over it's a bit fiddly but um, you know doable and it will stick just making sure I've got plenty over those solid areas like like this and then I'm just going to stick that on here like like that I think that will look absolutely gorgeous isn't that beautiful and then the rest will hopefully fit um, on the bottom so I just need to let that dry for a second or two and then I can um, trim the edges I really like how that looks and if you've got die cuts I hope that's given you some ideas as to how you can use them in maybe a more unconventional way let's finish this off I've got this gorgeous image here let me just hold it up to you um, this was a download from the graphics fairy it was free um, if you key in I think it was bohemian ladies or gypsy ladies I'll have a look and I'll leave all the details to anything that um, I've shared in the description box below but I think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous on there like that 
Um, I've clearly shrunk it down and um, added it to a piece of cardstock. Again, I'm going to use a three in one for that because it will need something heavyweight to glue it, um, glue it down. So I'm just going to make sure I apply plenty around the edges. I do want to go straight to the edge as well because I want this flat just because it's um it's a bookmark. So I'm going to spread that out um, with my little finger like like this right to the very um, edge. And I'm going to weight that down underneath um, a heavy book. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? I love that so much. All I want to do now is just add a little um, tab through the um, top of my um, tag. I've got um, this piece of fabric that came um, in the kit. Now I've got a piece of bent over wire, wire that I'm going to use as a needle. I'm just going to thread it um, through like this. This is quite thick and would be quite difficult to um, get through this hole. So I'm just going to feed it through like this, pull the um, wire out. And um, then of course I can just um, pop the ends through like this pull them like that and how gorgeous is that little bookmark absolutely beautiful what a wonderful wonderful kit well i do hope that that's given you some bohemian inspired ideas i'll be back for part two where i'll share what i decide to do with this gorgeous gorgeous tassel kit very very soon but if you've enjoyed my video so far as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon Bye for now.